I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing this shoe on the internet, but hey, I gotta drop my video too. What's going on everybody? My name is Blazing Nico and we are back with yet another video. Today we have a shoe review on a shoe that has been seen on the internet probably way too much within the last two months. We got a shock drop, exclusive access. But without further ado, we have the Jordan 4 Industrial Blue. The Jordan 4 Industrial Blue, aka Military Blue, releases on May 4th for a retail price of $215. Like I mentioned, we got a shock drop about a month early from the actual release date. The release date got pushed around a couple times all the way back to May 25th and got pushed back up to May 4th. And we also got exclusive access a couple weeks before, which is where this pair is from, from the Nike exclusive access. So the Jordan 4 Industrial Blue, aka Military Blue, is releasing in a full family size run. Of course, men's sizes, we're getting GS, which is big kids, little kids, and also toddler sizes. So the running rumor is that we are getting over 1.2 million pairs of these pairs of Jordan 4s. So maybe that's the reason they're doing shock drops, exclusive access, but honestly, Usually when it's a big OG like this, like an original shoe that come out, we usually get shock drops and exclusive access, but I'm hearing crazy numbers that rival, you know, holiday Jordan 11 numbers. So hopefully everybody that wants a pair is able to get a pair and hopefully the resale market drops as well once these finally come out. Now let's take a deeper, closer look at the materials on the Jordan 4 Military Blue, AKA Industrial Blue. As you guys have seen, it is a classic color block and you can see it's actually more of an off-white upper, a little bit like a light gray nubuck along the toe cap of the shoe. You can kind of see these two different blues. They're a little bit different. Blue behind that cage. It's a different gray than the toe box on the wings of the shoe. Rubber tab on the back, you know, just a classic Jordan 4 color blocking. Yeah, they changed the colors up a little bit, but you know, I still love them, still look good. They actually got cheap on us and gave us, you know, just the plastic instead of the metal clip for the hang tag. But here's what it is. Regular Jordan 4 box, nothing crazy on this, no extras, no nothing, but still clean shoe. The biggest topic of discussion has definitely been the color of the blue on the industrial blue military blues this is actually the closest it has ever been to the original that released in 1989 the pairs that most people including myself are familiar with are the 2006 and 2012 retros there's a much lighter blue than this industrial blue that they are coining it now so a lot of people don't like this new blue that they have on these they wanted that older blue but if you want to keep it OG, which Nike has been doing for a little while with their Jordans coming out, going to back to the shapes, the certain colors. This is the closest that we have ever had to the original Military Blue Forward. One big thing that people did not like is that the Industrial Blue kind of has like a, a grayish blue tint on that white upper. I think they coined it as off-white in comparison to like the stark white, like the fire red fours. If you compare the two, you can definitely see the difference. But if you have these on feet, they'll definitely look like a normal white, off-white. But they are definitely a lot different than this just basic white. They are an off-white, like it says on the box, but still a very clean shoe nonetheless. You guys just watched that try on video i would say that these are still true to size whatever you wear in a regular pair of jordan force i would say go for that size this is a ten and a half and i'm a true size ten and a half i will be sticking with these they're not as comfortable as those reimagined bread fours but i'm just saying these are still you know jordan four you probably have a little pain out here regardless of the size of the shoe but i would recommend going true to size on the jordan four industrial blue so let's take a look at gold i am recording on may 3rd so prices may change depending on when you see this as you can see 
everything's pretty much in the mid 200s right now like i said retail is 215 dollars but it creeps up a little bit once you get to like size 13 size 15 size 17 you know the more obscure sizes that aren't being sold as often this is stock x 238 for a size 10 and a half and here's a full size chart pretty much the same but a little bit of difference smaller on stock x like i mentioned we're supposed to be getting over a million pairs of these the retail market is like 30 40 bucks already over retail but i once these pairs start flooding in you know to the regular foot stores jd sports finish line foot locker nike drops all their pairs dick sporting goods all those stores i can see these going to retail i don't quite see them going below retail but i definitely think it may be worth waiting if you can't grab this pair for retail you may be able to get them for retail on the secondary market so these are an og colorway you can't go wrong with these the blue is a little bit different but i think these are still a beautiful shoe definitely worth grabbing even if it's for a little bit over retail price overall i think it's a great shoe i haven't seen a pair of military fours in a long time my brother has a pair i think he actually sold them but i'm so used to seeing that colorway but getting this back in ogs i love og jordans ogs over everything for me collaborations and all that i'm gonna go with the og pair over most things but definitely having this in the collection is another kind of like infinity stone that i can add now i just need the white cement for us to come back but these are definitely a beautiful shoot and will not be going anywhere as always i want to thank you guys for tuning in to another video please make sure to keep liking keep subscribing keep sharing the videos we want to help push these out to the algorithm more we are over 500 subscribers and we're pushing for that 1000 by the end of 2024 but until next time thank you guys